everybody, how are you? Now we are doing today, a bit of crafting. So we are doing a, just an, a simple Easter um, arrangement. Table, centerpiece, side table, your kitchen, wherever you wanna put it. Um, so I've got a few bits and pieces here. Most of it is from, apart from the florals, is from Pound Shop and Home Bargains. That is it. Some of the florals I've got from the range, so very inexpensive, and I'll show you those in a second. But apart from that, everything else is very inexpensive, including the bowls and our base, also what we're going to be using. Um, so let me just quickly run through what we've got today. I've got my hot lemon today. It's just so dreary outside. Makes me want to drink, you know, something like, well, I drink hot lemon most days anyway, so <laughs> makes no difference. Anyway, um, so our base is what I've got. So I've got three bases. These are from the pound shop. We've got a basket, um, which I wouldn't even spray this or do anything to it because I like this colour. This is the one I showed you um, in one of the previous videos. These was in the section when they were doing the Mother's Day bits to make your hampers and you know, and it's got the little hamper basket sign on the side. Um, they are very, very flimsy. And I think what I would suggest if you're gonna use these is put something heavy in the bottom to weigh it down. Like maybe some sand or some soil or some stones from your garden. Just go outside, have a look, see what you can grab, lay it in the bottom. If you're gonna use sand and soil, line it first with a plastic bag or cling wrap or um, cling wrap, cling film, um, or tin foil, you know, something like that to put in the bottom and then obviously put your stuff on the top of that. Then on top of that, we're gonna be putting our phone blocks. Now your phone blocks you can get from Home Bargains or Hobbycraft, whatever you've got near you. The range do them as well. Hobbycraft are more expensive than the others. I wish the pound shop did them. It'd be so much easier if they did phone blocks. Um, in the range, they are about one one twenty five. Uh, home bargains, I think, more or less the same price. And Hobbycroft, I think they're two pounds. They're either one fifty or two pounds. So they are a bit more expensive. Um, but they fit in there. I'll just squash it in. Absolutely perfect. That's all you need. So we've got our basket, so um, we can do so. I'm going to be not going to be using this today. But if you've got that, use that. We've also got our glass bowls, which we've got from the pound shop as well, which I'm actually going to spray just to show you the finish and what that comes up with. Comes up with what it comes out like. And I'm going to be spraying it with the natural hessian. I really love this spray. Um, I can't rate it enough. It's two pound. You cannot get a better spray for two quid, seriously. And I sprayed the um, jar things storage jars, which I've got up in the bathrooms, do you remember? I sprayed those with that, and honestly, it comes out wonderful. I would, you know me, I would tell the truth. If I didn't think it was worth two quid, and two quid ain't much money, well, it is these days, but you know what I mean, if you're saving your pennies, obviously. Um, you can go in the range and buy a Rustoleum, or um, what's the other one, Kylon, Krylon, um, and different ones, and they're like six pounds and up. But for two pound, brilliant so give that a go it's a chalk as i say it's a chalky furniture paint and it's natural hessian i wouldn't suggest use it on it on outdoor items i don't think it will last um but for definitely for indoors brilliant so i'm going to spray this just to show you what this looks like this bowl spray so then you can use that as well if you want to i'll do that in a minute actually and while that while i'm doing this that can be drying um, and the other thing which I love, which they've got back in this year, are these little wooden crates. And on the front it says herb garden with rosemary, thyme and basil. Just these are perfect for those little, little arrangements, you know. And the foam block fits in there, perfect. So they was made for each other. <laughs> right, so that's our base. That's what we're going to be using on our base. Um, we've got from the pound shop the grass 
what's it say on there? It actually says grass patch. They are 75 by 25 centimetres. Um, I've already started cutting a piece up. We're going to use that. But I'm not going to cover the whole thing because then I won't be able to put anything through it. So I'm just going to put it in and, in and around, if that makes sense. But we'll come to that. We've got some glittered eggs, pound shop. Uh, we've got these ones, which are already on little sticks. They're from Home Bargains. And everything I've got here, including all these bits, are under a pound. I've also got the polystyrene eggs. So if for some reason you can't already get them like this, buy a packet of these, get some cocktail sticks, get the kids involved, paint them, glitter or whatever, put your cocktail sticks in the bottom and shove them in your phone. Done. Um, so that's those. I've already got, these are from last year actually, um, and these were from Home Bargains. They were little plastic eggs and they come on little ribbons. I uh, don't know how many I've got now. I've got a few, but not a lot. Um, and they remind me of ping pong balls. It's that, it's that noise. Do you remember ping pong balls? Ping pong balls? Ping pong balls? Ping pong ball. Oh, ping pong balls. Um, I've only got pink left. Um, but they're great. Absolutely great. And actually, if you pull the ribbon out of the bottom, which I've already done the other day. Oh, I'll show you my Easter reef I've done. Um... Let me show you. If I pull this out, she says, it's got a little tiny hole in the bottom. Put a bit of hot glue around it and you put your stick in it and you're done with that as well. So that's those. I've got some little chicks. These again are from last year. You can get those in the pound shop. I've got little, now where did I get these from? Butterflies. Think home bargains. Little butterflies. I've got a couple of those. Well, actually I've only got three left of these, pink and orange. Um, little carrots. These are foam, so you can put cocktail sticks in them as well if you want to poke them in to give them a bit more security. Um, these are from Home Bargains. Yep, yeah, the little Easter plaques, which I'm probably not going to use this in this arrangement. Um, these are probably idea, ideal if you want to hang them on a door or um, put them on a reef, you know, something like that. I'm probably not going to use that on this arrangement, but it's just to show you. What else have I got? These were from last year. I love these little bunnies and I actually put my own bows on them. These are from Home Bargains and I can't remember how much they were, but they was not a lot of money. I believe, and I'm guessing they're $1.99, something like that, and I think they're great. I'm not gonna use them in this because these are just too big to go with that. What else have I got? I've got, I've showed you little chicks. Little bunnies on sticks. Um, these were from Home Bargains as well. I've got a few of those. I've got the little sunflowers from Home Bargains. I'm probably not going to use these, but um, I've got them now. What else have I got? A minute. Showed you the carrots. Yeah. Um, a minute. There was something else I was going to show you. I'm sure I had a little sheep. Oh, yeah. Little lambs or little sheeps. Can't remember, they're either at Home Bargains or Pound Shop. No. These were from Home Bargains, and this one I still got the bloody label on it, look, from last year. And these are brilliant as well. Very good quality, really cute. Um, I may use this one. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say under 199, something like that for that little one. This is plastics, it's not foam. Um, and these, now I can't remember, I think I got these in the pound shop, little china bunnies. And I've got three of these actually. So I've got the pink and the blue, and the iridescent. So I've got a few of those we can play around with. And then I've literally got a mixture. Oh yeah, and I've got the, sorry, a couple more things. Those bunnies, the wooden ones, um, which I'm not gonna use in this, but I'm gonna use them as part of a display. Um, I think they, what did I say they were last time? One ninety nine, maybe, two forty nine, something like that. Um, and I have noticed the prices are definitely going up. Um, the little gonks we got from the pound shop, super cute. Probably not gonna use them in there, but again, they're things you can use. They're all from a pound shop, as we said. And the, 
Do you remember the pics I've got? And I, do you know what? I've been back in there and I, I, don't, I haven't seen any more of these in my local pound shop. And they were 150 for the pics. So I've got one of those. I've actually broken one down. So I had a couple of those. And I've actually already started to break them and take them apart so that I can use them sporadically. Do you know what I mean? Dotted around. But you don't have to. You can use it as one piece. You can make a tool arrangement. You know, the list is endless what you can do with all your bits and pieces. And then I've got some florals, just bits and random bits and pieces, which I've got um, from the range. So I've got some springy bits. I've got some... I don't know what these are called because I'm not a florist. Some of these little white things, they came in a, in a bunch, uh, along with some, you know, some, look like, a bit like a mini eucalyptus actually. Those bits, I've got bits of hydrangeas in the green, um, and I've got some other springy kind of lavender bits and pieces as well. They're from the range. This actually came on a garland. It was a, about a seven foot garland, something like that. And I broke it down into, into bits and pieces. I was going to, and I still might, do like an Easter swag um, and add bits and pieces to it and, and hang it on the door or, or hang it somewhere. Um, just to also give a bit that bit of spring feeling, you know? So I was gonna do that with a swag. And I believe I've got some more of this. So anyway, a couple of those. And what else have we got? I think that's it, folk. Uh, some pink hydrangea, which, again, these are odd bits and pieces, and these were all from the range. They do all of this in there. But even these roses, these little mini roses, they come in little bunches. There's probably about seven little, little mini roses, and they're like, they're supposed to be in ivory, but they've got a very pale tinge of, I would say, lemon in it. Um, there's something like, $3.99, I'm guessing, for a bunch of little mini roses, and um, and some greenery. Again, all odds and sods I've got. Uh, let me show you what I've got down here. Yeah, just, just, just some greenery, which again, comes out of loads of different bunches, which I've bought over the time and just broken them up. Um, so yeah, there's, if you're a crafter, you're probably gonna have most of this anyway. Sorry, I've spoken to... <laughs> I've talked so much, my throat's gone dry. Right, so just quickly off camera, I'm gonna stop the camera, I'm gonna quickly run and spray this so that we can see what it looks like. I'm gonna show you the effect of what it looks like with our spray. So I'll see you back here in a second. As you can see on that little video there, so I've wrapped around the grass. When you're doing this, if you're doing it on your kitchen table, maybe put a tablecloth down or something like that, this is really messy. Um, cutting it all up, the stuff, what comes off of it, goes everywhere. Um, I'm just obviously gonna wipe this down, but if just maybe put, if you've got a nice table, just put a newspaper on there. I mean, yeah, you can brush it off. It's not gonna ruin anything, but it is very messy as you're cutting it all up. Anyway, so there's a little box, half of it covered because I want this bit so I'm able to, as I say, put all the bits and pieces in. I may even cut it a little bit further down there. Um, we'll see. And what I've done is I made a little corner. So first of all, I covered up this corner here to put the rabbit on. But um, it was laying flat enough with this under it. So I've just cut out a little square to put him there. Now my only thing to hold this steady, because he's just wobbling all around the place, I'm probably able to put a bit of glue, a bit of a hot glue on the bottom, and just to, to secure him there so he doesn't move. So that's my little gap. What I'm gonna do is just mark it out with just a pair of scissors on that corner. So not to put anything there because that's where he's going to go. And I've literally just marked that little corner there. So that's where he's going to go, he or she. Um, so that's our little bunny. And let's just see what it looks like if you put one of those in. So look, exactly the same. 
In fact, what you could probably do is cut your block shorter and prop him right at the back into the groove there and he was, he was standing there quite securely actually. So you could even do this option. I'll show you, let's just take that off. And I think what I probably would do, you know me, is remove the Hessian, um, what do you call this? What's that stuff called? Twine. <laughs> and put a little bow around it. Um, so look, if we even we put these in there as well, you could still make a nice little arrangement. So, you know, use whatever you've got to hand. If we use the little gonks, we could do those as well on there. They're perfect size. The little china bunnies, they can go on there. Um, there is so many, you know, little bits and pieces you can add. So I've got loads of my bits of greenery. So I'm gonna start off with kind of at the, at the back and then kind of working forward. Um, I may cut out, as I say, some little holes there to put some greenery because I want the greenery to look like it's spouting out naturally. So I think I'm going to cut a few little holes down here where I can, a minute, oh, actually I can do it that way, where I can put in some greenery. So I'm going to crack on with that, add some bits and pieces, um, she says, looking for what I need, my clippers. Um, I'm going to crack on, I'm going to do some of it, then I'll come back on camera um, and also get the bowl. I've already sprayed it once, I need to go and spray it again. I'm going to do a couple of coats so it's nice and covered, um, got good coverage. And then I'll be back, alright, so stay tuned. <laughs> Look how cute that is. I might actually change that. I feel like it's just poking out a little bit um, or add another bit to make this one. You know what I mean? I don't like things look out of place. I'll just play around with that. But apart from that, I love it. It's so cute. It's such an inexpensive little, little arrangement. Right, I'm just gonna add a couple of little bits. I always say that, don't I? If I'm not saying, a minute, I'm saying, right, okay. <laughs> Crazy woman. Just going to add a couple more of these little, um, uh, the, um, blimey, what's it called? The pick. Some of those little bits. Just to bring the colour in a touch. But no, I'm not going to put too much in. I like all, let's tip this down a bit. Sorry. Um, I like all the greenery. And I like the different textures as well. Because if you was, you know, imagine, I'm imagining this as a field or, um, you know, an orchard or whatever. And you've got loads of wild, wild flowers and greenery and lush foliage going on. So that is what I'm kind of trying to create. Does that make sense? So little carrots for the rabbit. Obviously the Easter eggs, because it's going to be Easter. Um, so I'm just going to add a couple of blood. Do you know what? I know it's a grey day, but it's ever so warm. Either that or my bloody heating's on. I'll turn that off in a minute. Um, let's do it. I might do another little one this side, coming out the side. Yep. And then, where is another one? There's a bit. Let's take that off. That one's come apart, okay. 
let's not worry too much, but let's just put a few more. Um, and as you may have noticed in that uh, the video, the grass, if if you can get some moss pins, because they're, they're, you know, these floral pins, whatever you call them, they poke through that um, artificial grass perfectly all right. I was struggling with poking through other bits and pieces because obviously it's quite dense, quite thick. Um, but use the moss pins, it, they go in lovely. That's why, you know, I suggest if you're gonna do this yourself, just to put add a gap where, where you can see your foam so you can add everything into it. So, one more thing, isn't it? Let me just, I'm um, gonna add a couple of, I think I'm gonna add a couple more of these little pink bits. Again, dotted around. Another little blue one. Dot it around at the back just to give it a bit of texture at the back. Can I get that one in there? Let's see if I can get this little one in there as well. I don't know whether it'll look. Whether sometimes I've got a little. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Um, sometimes, um, I've lost my train of thought, <laughs> for God's sake, um, sometimes you can go over the top, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's just cut that little bit of wire off. But you can, you can play around with it as much as you like, you know, there's no right or wrong way of doing anything like this. I was going to try and get in that, that in there, but I don't know if I can. Can I? Oh yeah, just about. Look at that. Hang on, that's annoying me, this bit here. I need it to do another element this side. Wait a minute, I might have to turn that, bring that round a touch so it comes out like that. That's better. See there, okay. Um, can I get away with putting another bit in here? No, I don't think so. I don't think I need anything else. Actually, what I'm going to do is break that bit up. Let me add, I'm going to add a bit of this. Let's break this down a bit. And shove it in there. And I'll get that through that last bit. Yeah. That's it. That's better. I need to turn it round, guys. Hold on a minute. Let me just so I can just check. I need another bit in the back there. No, no I don't think so. I think we're good. I might actually put that back in there. Like that. To break the rows up a little bit so it looks like there's growing through it wildly, if that makes sense. There you go. How cute that is. And it looks really big, funny enough. It weighs nothing, it's so light. But on the side, I think that's quite nice. What do you reckon? Can't see the butterfly very well. I need to bring the butterfly out a little bit. Hang on, there you go. Look how cute. I love it, absolutely love it. And obviously you can paint this if you want to, you can spray it, do a different colour. Um, so there's my little Easter arrangement, inexpensive arrangement to go with my wreath, which is there. Cool though. Eh? And I'm gonna go and get for you, just quickly, I'll go and get that vase, what I've just sprayed, one minute. So this is our glass. I'm trying not to put my fingers on it um, because I don't want to get fingerprints on it. There's the glass bowl, um, which can now be used as a vase. Let me move this out of the way. Over there a second. That looks nice over there, actually. I think I'm going to do that. Right, put the vase in. I'm trying not to touch it with my hands, but there's the vase. There was nearly the broken bars. <laughs> so you can see this um, with the Hessian chalky spray paint. I'd leave it to set for a while um, because you will get fingerprints. It becomes that chalky, dusty, I'll rub the back of it. 
don't know if you can see. But if you rub it slightly, can you just see just here, if you rub it slightly, it rubs off the chalkiness. So what I suggest you do is get, which I've got actually, um, clear spray. So it's still, it's, oh, I can't think what it's called. I'm rubbing my nose, sorry, because now I've got the dust up my nose. Um, oh my God, what is it called? It's like a clear sealant spray or something like that. Like, like oh God, do you know what? I cannot think what it's called, but anyway, spray it over the top and that will seal it. What I've also done, but I've got a scratch on it now, is I've done one of my candlestick holders from the pound shop. Glue that on the top, she says, as she nearly broke the bloody thing, if you want to elevate it. So you've then got yourself a little vase. That looks different to that colour, funny enough. And yet it's the same spray paint, so that's weird. Um, anyway, why is that? Why did I? You know what? I just realised I spray painted this white first. Then I went over it with that. That's why it's got that um, paler look to it. So obviously you can do that if you want to. I've just realised I did that. Um, but anyway, you know, to elevate that up, you've now created yourself a vase for two quid. Pound for the, was they a pound or a pound fifty? Can't remember. But these are a pound. So for two pound, you've got yourself a nice, a nice vase. So use that as well. Another thing I've got, which um, I got from a charity shop, one of those bowls. I don't know what these are called. But anyway, um, obviously you can spray paint it, you can keep it like that. I've already started to put the foam in the middle, in and around there. You can do exactly the same kind of arrangement on something like this. Um, I don't want to spray paint this because uh, I'm going to reuse it, but what you could do is get some ribbon and go around the edge, all the way round, like this, right the way round, like that, and you've actually, so you've covered that up, so you can't now see, obviously your, um, you know, your foam and everything else you've got in there, and then just put a bit of double blue, uh, blue bum, Glue gun, glue from the glue gun on the ribbon just to secure it in place. Then you can reuse everything and change it all out. Um, this is wide room, by the way. Um, I've actually got this in my shop, so I will leave the link for my shop as well. Um, just to show you the wide ribbons, are 2.5 uh, luxury wide ribbon and they're 10 yards. Love this ribbon, it's really nice. It's like a hessian background with a floral print on it. Um, yeah, as I say, wrap that round there and that covers that bit up and you've got another inexpensive arrangement. Um, I also got these in Hobbycraft actually. I don't believe they've got any more. Um, they seem to put wire ribbons in there and they are gone. I happen to be in there when they still had um, maybe 10 rolls in there and I just bought pink and a lemon one. And they are 2.7 metres Easter ribbon I'm gonna get, I think they were like three quid, something like that. But that again, put that around the outside as you can see. And that also covers up your mechanism. You could also put um, a nice big bow around it as well if you wanted to. So your ribbon around there and add a bow to the bottom bit just to add that. Again, you can use your fake grass on there. Do exactly the same. Use your little china bunnies, use your wooden bunnies, and create another piece. So you've got lots and lots of options, loads of bits and pieces you can do. So, what else was I gonna show you? I think that's it, guys, for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, take care, everybody. Hopefully, I will see you again very soon, maybe the end of the week, um, and we'll do something else. I don't know yet. I don't know yet what. I don't know what. I don't. Anyway, I'll see you then. All right. Ta da! <laughs>